My guest today is Hannah Blaine, museum assistant from the city of Kingston, and we're going to talk about being a tour guide at the city <laughs> at City Hall. Yes. And full disclosure, I'm, I've been a, a tour guide there for 12 years, mm -hmm. and I got to tell you, it is like the best gig. It is, it is so much fun. I, I just look forward to it, and I go into a little mini depression in October when it's over. <laughs> yes. It's, uh, you meet the nicest people. You meet people from all over the world, and you learn so much. And I, I really do love showing off this fabulous building. So that just happens to be right behind you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, why do most people want to be a tour guide? probably say a uh, love of history is one of the main things. Um, we do also have a lot of uh, retired teachers, so somebody who wants to keep passing on knowledge, even though they might not do so in a schoolroom setting, but um, in a setting, historical setting. It's nice to be able to educate not only people within Kingston about their own history, but also tours that come from all around the world and spread that knowledge with them. It, you know, it's really, especially if you if you really enjoy it, mm -hmm. and then you have this enthusiasm yes, for yeah. for what you're you're explaining to them. Um, what do you feel makes a good tour guide? I think somebody who maybe not passionate is the right word, but somebody who is interested in learning more and also spreading that knowledge. I think somebody who's engaging and friendly also is rather helpful, <laughs> um, right. obviously. Yeah. Uh, somebody who enjoys speaking to people, enjoying talking to new people and getting their stories as well as sharing their own. I think that is a great thing, having a connection with people when you're giving a tour um, is always a bright point in not only their day, but somebody else's day. I, I've traveled a lot and I, I get a real kick out of uh, 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 talking to people about the, their country mm -hmm. because I've, you know, I've probably you know, possibly visit and what I remember about their country and so that's kind of kind of fun too. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think so. Yeah. Um, we get pretty good materials for research. So if mm -hmm. somebody's saying, well, I don't know anything about Kingston history, that that's just don't worry about it. Yes. <laughs> don't worry no. about it. You yeah. don't have to come as an expert, you don't have to come as a professor of history or anything like that. Um, we do have um, curators on hand as well as museum staff like myself who know the uh, history of Kingston and create this kind of guide and booklet to any new volunteers that come in. Also we have people like you who have mm -hmm. done the tours plenty of times before and are very willing to um, educate and help along any new volunteers that want to come in. So. No, by no means you have to be an expert when you come in, but hopefully uh, you have the enthusiasm to learn a little bit more. And it is so interesting. It's, uh, yes. <laughs> I found that most of the information is because people ask questions. Mm -hmm. I don't have the answer, so I say, you know what, I don't have the answer to that, but let's find out. Yeah. You know, remind me at the end of the tour and we'll find out. So I ask other tour guides, or, or sometimes the security guards are really good mm -hmm. too, they're yeah. knowledgeable. <laughs> and. Um, uh, try to get an answer for them mm -hmm. and so now I know I know for the next time mm -hmm. but it's okay to say you know what I don't know the answer to that that's a really good question yeah. but I don't have the answer to that yeah especially because um, we do have a kind of the guidebook is a guideline it gives all the history but there's always little corners or little hidden uh, places in City Hall that you could explore more information <laughs> luckily we have something like the Heritage Resource Center which does have a lot more history so if you do quit questions like that that you don't know the answer to, you might want to direct them there or you can go yourself and maybe learn that information for yourself. Oh yeah, it, it, and the more you dig into it, the mm -hmm. more it, more interesting it gets. And I, I remember the, the late Paul Robertson said, you're not tour guides, you're storytellers. Yes. So we, And I thought that really does make mm -hmm. sense because that's what you do, you tell stories yes. and make them interesting and so on. And it's a wonderful building, and I'm always surprised at locals who say, well, I've, I've never e either never been in the building at all, mm -hmm. or never been past the payment mm -hmm. center where they yes. go and pay a ta uh, uh, parking ticket. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things in City Hall that people may not know are there who, they really should come out. It's a free tour. This yes. is your tax dollars yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, yes. and going on here, so come on out and take a tour of City Hall, mm -hmm. your own City Hall. What are some of the things that you may not see in another city hall? 
Uh, so because our city hall is a historic building, there is a lot of history to it. So uh, outside of a tour, you can only really go to the first and second floor, but with a tour guide present with you, you can go up to the third and fourth floor, see our clock tower, uh, Victoria Library, which is really cool. It has a lot of our legal books and it used to house people who did take care of the bell towers. So there's a little bit more history there. And then you can go to the basement of the building where the old jail cell used to be. Uh, so that's something you can't do yourself without a tour guide. So definitely say um, by going to get a tour, you get a li little bit more and a lot more out of the experience of seeing City Hall. Absolutely, we were always trying to talk people and, and what I found happens a lot, people say, oh no, it's okay, I'll just wander around on my own. But mm -hmm. then they, they start listening in on your tour and you know, now yeah. you, yeah. They, <laughs> you hook them in. You hook them <laughs> in and suddenly you've got this much larger group than you started out mm -hmm. with. And um, yeah, I find that people, um, it's when they walk into Memorial Hall mm -hmm. and they stop at the door and go, oh, wow. Yes, that, especially that, the stained glass windows, oh, yes. They are. They're, they're breathtaking mm -hmm. and it's, it's you know and I explained you know a lot of times there's meetings at night and those stained glass windows don't look like anything yeah. <laughs> they, they really don't they need that that uh, yes. sun coming through them mm -hmm. and they're 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 absolutely they they spend a lot of time in there that's one yes. moment that's yeah that's kind of interesting mm -hmm. and and show them the chain of office that is so yes. over the top. I mean, that's serious <laughs> bling. I Very mean, heavy to wear as well, oh, I've heard. <laughs> gosh, I can't even imagine them wearing that, but that, mm -hmm. that seems... Another one that I find fascinates people is the skating rink. Mm, yes, yes, in yeah. the back in Market Square. Yeah, yes. they find that fascinating. Mm -hmm. And and then the jail cells. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, is the original police station. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's very cool, especially because there's so much history there as well. Like the great escape that happened and yeah, little tidbits here and there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you can, it, depending on the crowd, you can get into policing today. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's a fabulous building and I encourage locals, mm -hmm. to please come out and take yeah. a tour with us. and. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything new this year? Are you, you going to spring anything new on us this year? <laughs> I can't confirm anything, um, but the curators are working hard on new niche cases, so hopefully they'll be installed soon. And uh, lots of new things, um, historical objects. Um, there's no, I believe there's going to eventually be a new exhibition in Market Wing, but that oh. hasn't been confirmed yet. Oh, so I can't yeah. say what it is. Yeah, that's an odd space, isn't it? It is, yes. It's kind yeah. Nobody really knows about it except um, when they come in looking for bathrooms <laughs> right. um, at the back yeah. of the building. But we encourage visitors to keep seeing it, especially um, because the current exhibition is closing soon. So. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's where... Um, uh, so originally it was a market, mm -hmm. uh, the shambles as they, they called it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where that word came from, but that's what they called it. And then it was the police station mm -hmm. from 1906 to what, the 60s, I think? I think so, something like something that. Something like that, yeah. Maybe even closer to the 70s, but yeah. I don't think quite that long. But and it moved to mm -hmm. down somewhere around uh, S&R, somewhere in that area. I think it moved there and then built the new one out on, on Division Street, mm -hmm. but uh, it's so it, it's, a, yeah, it's, a, it's an odd space in a yes. way, you know. Yeah. And then talk about a lot of potential though. A lot of potential, mm -hmm. absolutely. It lends itself to so many things, yeah. So um, if somebody was interested mm -hmm. in becoming a tour guide, what's involved? Uh, so you'd have to either send an email to us at cityhalltours at cityofkingston.ca or go through the City of Kingston website. Um, there is a section for heritage and culture, and under that is City Hall, so it gives a little bit more information about uh, tours themselves, as well as how to apply to become a tour guide. Uh, once you hit through there, uh, you get two options of what type of position you would like to do, so you could either be a tour guide or tour amb ambassador. Um, uh, before I let yes. you go, let's talk about that. I yes. Yeah, that's right. If you're not up to being a tour mm -hmm. guide, we need... Or if you want to work your way up to it. Right, yeah. get comfortable with it. Uh, so tell me about what an ambassador is. Uh, so an ambassador is kind of the first face visitors see when they come to get a tour. So they check people in, they get their information where they're from, introduce themselves and kind of give just a brief welcome and introduction to the City Hall 
um, tour system before their tour guide, who typically gives the either 30 to 45 minute tour of the building. And the best part about being an ambassador, you get mm. to sit. Yes, yes. <laughs> the, the, uh, tour guides, <laughs> Rest we'll your feet. Yeah, yeah. We'll run off our feet. We, we yeah. do a lot of stairs and a lot of walking, a lot yeah. of walking backwards. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the ambassador gets to sit and mm -hmm. just uh, yeah. greet people. It's important. It's mm -hmm. an important function as well. Mm -hmm. So for either position, um, and they can email you directly. Yes, exactly. And that's probably the easier way because probably. frankly, that website is a little cumbersome. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming no in problem. today. It was my pleasure. Thank you, Donna. <laughs>